A city official tells the Atlanta mayor it has gotten too costly to fund a nearly empty city jail. The city council this week will be asked to approve $16 million to keep the facility running. Andre Dickens responded saying he's weighing his options. Fox News' Morris Diggs looks at how the decision could impact safety. It was nearly a couple of weeks ago that I reported on what seemed to be a resolution, a deal on the use of this jail, mostly empty. Now, we're not sure exactly the timetable of what's going to happen, except to say that it appears that taxpayers will be pouring another $16 million into the annual operation. On rare occasions, the city of Atlanta jail gets busy holding, say, demonstrators who wind up getting arrested from some activity the night before. But generally, the inmate housing counts is in the dozens, not hundreds, with routine misdemeanor cases. It's very glaring that we're spending $16 million to keep a jail open that houses an average of 40 or so inmates, uh, when that $16 million could be very fiscally responsibly spent elsewhere. And you're right. I mean, this conversation around keeping the jail open, expanding it or closing it is, you know, at least on my desk every week. In fact, it's really been years of conversations about what to do with the facility. How does the current $16 million operations price tag for roughly 40 inmates break down? That would be $400,000 per occupied cell. That budget per inmate metric uh, is not necessarily the right metric for a facility of this size because it still has to be maintained. The Fulton County Sheriff is willing to take the jail expense burden off the mayor's hands. The county facility so packed at times some of the inmates used to have to lay down at night on doggy style beds. Here's what Pat Labatt told members of the Public Safety Task Force in late March. Do we have a place to put all these criminals we're going to be locking up? Let me be clear. The mayor and I have had two really good conversations. And one of the things that we are focusing on is 500 beds from the city. We're getting down to the minutia, making sure we can safely make that, that happen. We've had robust conversations with Fulton County about if we were to go in that direction, what that looks like, how much that costs, how much revenue comes in for that, how long. So while this potential deal gets massaged, Sheriff Labatt's got to make some decisions. He's got inmates spread around to different Georgia counties. He told me last night he is looking at potentially sending hundreds more to a location quite a distance away from Atlanta. He'd prefer, of course, to move them right downtown. From downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Morse, thanks.